What is up beautiful people? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So recently I felt like I haven't done any DIY home goods or DIY home decor videos in a really long time and plus I also need to make my coffee table for my apartment so I thought this would be a good video to put out this week. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make this faux concrete kintsugi coffee table. That was a mouthful. If you guys don't know what kintsugi is, it's a form of Japanese art where they take broken pottery or anything broken and they seal it back together with gold sealant or lacquer and they fill it in within the cracks. It just kind of gives it a new sense of beauty and a new purpose in life. And I just really like that concept because it's kind of like what I do with fashion. I take like really not so cute clothes from the thrift store and then I change it up and upcycle it and make it cute again. I love the idea of taking something broken, something that would normally be thrown away and putting it back together and making it beautiful again. And to be honest, in my opinion, I actually find these pieces way prettier than the original. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. I don't have my hair down so I can't hair flip. Also guys, just want to let you know this is my first concrete project ever. Like before this project, I've never dealt with concrete before. So any home improvement people or concrete experts watching this video, just be nice in the comments because this is my first time touching concrete. It's not like I have a boyfriend or husband to help me with this concrete project, okay? So be nice. But anyways, with all that being said, let's jump into this tutorial. Okay guys, so this is my before shot of my coffee table. This has literally been my coffee table for the past six months because I have not been able to do my coffee table DIY tutorial. So this is literally just a plank and I have been holding it up with my two bins literally for the past six, Oliver. Also guys, if you have pets, this is like a little hack that I like to do. I like to put the fitted bed sheets over my couch. That way I don't have to vacuum it every single time and sometimes he smells like a dog and I don't want my couch to smell. It's good because you could jump on it and everything and the bed sheet won't ever come off because it's a fitted sheet so it has the elastic around so it kind of just like clings <laughs> onto the couch. Are you ready for an actual coffee table? He's so ready. I cannot do this plywood bins coffee table no more. I'm so over it. For this tutorial, you won't need resin, but instead hot glue, which I didn't film, I'm sorry, acrylic coating, heavy duty glue, a glue gun thing, sharpie, gloves, which is optional if you don't want to get messy, sandpaper, I switch between 120 grit and 220 grit, concrete powder, I'm using the Ardex feather finish, which I got off of Amazon. I would show you guys the packaging, but it got punctured during shipping, so it's like really messy. A paint stir or whatever to mix with, spatula, spreader, knife thingies, pipe cutter, brasso metal cleaner, a thin paintbrush and a thick brush, which I didn't film, four copper elbows, four copper caps, gold foil paint, a copper pipe, I'm using the 10 foot one, but that's because I'm making a whole entire table, a tarp, four copper tees, E6000 glue, tape measure, and also a wooden plank from your hardware store. The first thing you wanna do is sand down your board and then either vacuum away the dust or clean it off with a dry brush. So again, this is my first time doing this project. So actually midway, I changed up the process, but I'm still gonna show you guys the next couple clips because I do wanna show you guys how I laid down the concrete, but just keep in mind that you won't be doing this until later. Follow the directions for your concrete to make the mix. You want it to be kind of like mud, so not too runny, but also not too dry. Then from there, scoop out the mix onto your board and use a spatula to spread it all over. So this is where I changed it up. I originally laid down the concrete first and then I carved out the cracks using my stir, but then I found that to be way too difficult. So I'm gonna undo this clip mainly because I like watching reverse clips and they look very satisfying. So now this is my revised method. Add hot glue onto the board where you want your cracks to be. Once this has dried, now you guys can apply your layer of concrete like I showed you guys previously. Add one thick layer of concrete until it matches the level of your hot glue. Usually people like to work in multiple thin concrete layers, but since you're working with ridges from the hot glue, I suggest you just do one big thick layer. Let this dry for about a couple hours before moving on. Be 
So while that is drying, you guys can work on your pipe base. Mark your pipe to the measurements that you need to cut. Keep in mind, I am making a full coffee table. So you guys are more than welcome to, you know, change up the measurements, make them smaller, longer, bigger, I don't know, whatever you guys want, depending on what you're making. To cut your pipes using the cutter, all you have to do is open the tool, put the pipe inside, line up the marking to the blade in the tool, screw down until it's nice and snug and you can't screw anymore. Then you're going to twist the tool around the pipe a few times and then screw some more. You'll repeat this process for about four times until the pipe eventually falls off. Copper pipes were probably the main reason why this project was so pricey. So if you guys want an alternative, you can also use PVC pipes and just spray paint them whatever metal you want. So here are my beautiful pipes. I ended up with four 10 inch pipes, two 16 inch pipes, two 21 inch pipes, and four one and a half inch pipes. Then using the brass cleaner, all you have to do is just put a glob on some like napkin or cloth and then just rub it onto the metal and it should get all clean and nice and sparkly, kind of, not really sparkly, but anyways. From there, just dry fit your connectors and pipes to make sure everything fits. Dry fitting is pretty much just putting them together without glue. You guys can use this little diagram if you need help putting the pieces together. Once everything fits, add glue inside of the connectors to glue everything together. I'm using E6000 glue because that's what I had at the moment but you should probably use super glue or actual pipe glue. Let this dry for 24 hours before adding it to your table. Once everything is dried, sand this down using 120 grit first to smooth out any ridges and sharp edges and then go back over it with 220 grit to smooth it out even more. To be honest guys, I'm not really educated on the number of grits for sandpaper. I'm honestly just using what I had at home that my dad left me, but all I know is that the higher the number, the smoother it will make the surface. Dust your table off after sanding and now you can add your paint. This is literally my favorite part mainly because I am obsessed with gold foil paint. But anyways, you want to paint over the hot glue tracks and let this dry for 30 minutes. Brush a layer of clear acrylic coating over the table and let this dry for two hours. I'm using something called polyurethane and that's because the people at Home Depot gave this one to me because they didn't have acrylic coat and that was what I was looking for, but they said this is pretty much the same exact thing. Basically all you need is just a clear coat to seal everything. If you want to add a second coat, which actually I prefer to do so because you just never know what people will put on your table and you want this thing to last, sand it down around the gold cracks, dust it off, and add Add another layer. Once your tabletop is dried, flip it upside down, mark where you want your base to be placed, add glue to the top of the pipe base and glue it to the table. Honestly, I was getting so hungry when I was gluing because it reminded me of like toasted strudels. Anyone? No one? Anyone? Anyways, I'm just so hungry. Um, I added glue also to the inside of the side of the pipe base just to make sure it's like really, really secure. Let this dry overnight to let everything cure and set. And then when you're done, that's it. After a million years, I'm just kidding. It didn't take a million years, but it did take a pretty long time. So here's the finished table. I'm so excited that I'm finally finished. After six months, I actually have a coffee table that works and functions and it's not being held by bins. I know people are gonna at me for sure because I mean like this is my first time using concrete. I had no idea what I was doing but I think for my first concrete project it turned out not as bad. Okay so technically you could have just honestly put gold foil paint onto the concrete and skipped the whole hot glue method but you know what? I'm really about texture and I wanted it to make it different so I like that there's like different levels and it's very texturized. This right here is the glue with the paint over it. Right here is where there wasn't that much glue showing. I actually put more concrete on top of it so it's really flat and as you guys can see there's like no texture or anything. It just looks like I'm so excited. It looks cute with the aesthetic. It matches the theme with the copper and the pink and the gray. Oh my gosh I'm in love. i
So that's it for my coffee table. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that. And if you guys want to see me do more home decor videos, I really hope you guys try this tutorial because I had so much fun doing it. And I feel like the outcome of the coffee table, it was so rewarding. I was like, yes, I made this. Yes. That's how I am too when you guys send me pictures of the things that you guys make. I literally am on my phone. I'm like, yes. Anyways, so this coffee table was a little pricier than a lot of my other tutorials that I do on my channel. However, I have looked up coffee tables made out of concrete and they run for like $500 to $800. And I've seen a Kintsugi coffee table alone like $1,500. So I saved hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So the cost of this actual coffee table was literally a fraction of what an actual kintsugi concrete coffee table would be if you guys want to connect with me on social media all my socials are at the Nava rose i think that's it for this video uh oh my gosh okay so announcement we are so so close to 400k so i made this little milestone goal if i hit 400k then i'm just gonna open up a p.o box i don't know i think p.o boxes are fun you guys can like i don't know send me a lollipop or pictures of yourselves i don't know whatever i think that'd be so cool but yeah so when we hit 400k i'm gonna open a p.o box just for you guys but yeah so that's my little announcement for this video um that's it though for this video i love you guys all and i'll see you guys in the next one over bye hey won't you be my hero